I should uh, I feel that I, I should come here and uh, talk about a few things um, I know it's been a long time since I have been here simply because of so many things that has have been happening a lot at the at an, a very very accelerated date and I want to appeal to my ancestors first please <laughs> slow down things on me <laughs> I feel like I have been rushing rushing before I finish one thing then the other things come please slow down the pace for me <laughs> I'm only a human and I have something other things to do and sometimes I need to sit down and rethink what I'm doing so all in that side I have a family that I uh, quite nowadays I'm going to see going to take care of them check on them my sons because I can see there is a lot of uh, negative energies that has been trying to um, disturb their peace of mind there and also my elder boy got circumcised and I have been going to our home, my matrimonial home, that is our situation in Kikuyu. And at that time, during the circumcision ritual, um, we tried to cook uh, ancestral food. So I was there to make sure that he got everything, that I introduced each and every food. Uh, our Mumbi and, and Kikuyu community were using during those time and even our bananas and it has not been an easy thing <laughs> and also like I have been talking about the circumcision of boys and for my son my oldest son Zeka I couldn't do anything nor prevent uh, it from happening based on where his father is he's still stuck in the old reality in the old paradigm but as i am as trying to talk sense on him i know uh, he will come into terms with his mind and he will remember where he is but in a way i can sense he still uh, he still knows what is going uh, on though he's adamant of admitting what is going on so <laughs> that is it I have been out and about doing some errands standing some errands and at the same time but I see my life so on this one I want to talk about the ritual uh, the mother of uh, our president and also the wife to our late president Jomo Kenyatta and a mother to the current president uh, president Uhuru Kenyatta, Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Uh, on the starting of uh, this month, it, let me say it was a equinox ritual because they kind of uh, she kind of did it on that, and she shaved a woman. Uh, this woman locks. Uh, she is called Modoni Kerema. And Modoni Kirema was one of the remnants of Mau Mau who fought in during the uh, invasion, the British uh, invasion. And as we were killed, she and others uh, congregated at uh, Rurengo uh, Stadium. That is where the swearing of Jomo Kenyatta was go, uh, was taking place, and also the oathing of uh, of him uh, to be president. That is where it was taking place, and it it for me how I see it or my perception. Um, Mudori Kirema uh, snitched on us. Um, if you really read about Modoni wa Kirema, you try to find out that uh, she was given a permit to sell uh, ivory. 
which is seems unruly to me because she has been uh, raving on a uh, pain of another animal our mom, our mammals, our largest mammal, let me say, the big five, our elephant, which are dreading in accelerated it because of their task. They have been, been uh, poached, killed indiscriminately by even those who are coming here for game uh, sports. So that is one thing she was given uh, when she snitched, snitched on, Ma on Mau Mau as a, a permit to sell ivories. And also she has been on rom rhyme rights uh, all throughout. The mainstream media has uh, been pointing about her, narrating about her, praising her about her, like uh, she's the only one who, who fought in, um, in freeing our country. Uh, but um, on this particular day, the mother of President Uhuru, uh, who is called Margaret Kenyatta, and another uh, woman, and I believe there was a woman who is called Susan, I can't remember her name, but it's Susan Karos, should be like that. Uh, they sat Modoni Kerema, uh, and on the table they had the banana. Uh, reefs and ritually when we are uh, we are slaughtering here what we do uh, we first uh, ray the banana leaves before slaughtering an animal but for her she laid the leaves and on top of the leaves she laid uh, our flag and when she cut the uh, she finished cutting Modoni Kirema's uh, rocks which she hasn't shaved uh, since the time we, we got the independence, the pseudo independence from the British. Uh, she laid down the hair on the red, uh, on the red, uh, let me say the red uh, point where of our flag, because we have uh, three colors or four colors that is red. Uh, black, uh, green, and white, and the uh, the shield and the spears are on the, the middle, so that is where, on the red color, is on the middle, that is where she did the, the, the rocks of Mudoni Wakirema. Uh, as a body seem that is strongly uh, suggesting that the coming elections, that is, uh, which are going to be held on uh, uh, August, that um, the leaders, this is what they are going to sacrifice to Murok as a sacrifice to gain power or to step in their positions. I know our president uh, is not fine for uh, for the presidency again because he's now targeting the position of uh, prime minister and Raira Odiga uh, from the rural community is the one who is going to be the president uh, on the on the coalition of uh, of Azimio. So this is what uh, they have planned and it's already said. We can. Uh, we don't need uh, anything to prove to us who would be the president and who would be the prime minister. Because even then the president, for the first time now, he's uh, supporting Raida Odiga. And what I want to tell uh, these people, our politician, and even the Margaret Kenyatta, uh, you did a very bad thing. Um, like um, it's like datifying our flag. We are wearing our traditional attires, our traditional costumes. Um, Margaret Kenyatta was rocking a Maasai, a, a, a Maasai costume, but the other sisters and other brothers were quoting um, our traditional attire, the Kikuyo and Mumbi uh, attire. And I'm telling you, you, you better stop misusing our our costumes, our traditional costume, where you are doing your dirty 
rituals. That is not a, a good thing that you did in front of the whole nation watching. And also, uh, we can see Mudani Kirema was not herself. Uh, she's an elderly woman. And by the way, she was biting her, her ribs and also trying to, like, she's, like, want to talk something, but she cannot uh, do it because she was under control of some people who were telling she must sit down and be shaved uh, based on how they have been relating with the, with the current government. Uh, and that is the government that has been there since the, we took the pseudo independent. So she was trying all her best to tell her not to stop uh, doing that, but it, uh, it was not uh, yielding any results, as this is how it was uh, planned. And we strongly condemned of uh, that deed, and we want to acknowledge you no more bloodshedding of our our Edagas, our Mau Mau Rem, uh, who have uh, incarnated back. The one that you like calling Mugeke at this time of uh, during the, when we are approaching uh, elections, that is when they, they start uh, pointing our warriors, our Edagas, that they are Mau Mau, those with the, with the rocks. So we don't want any of our brothers and our sisters to be killed in a form of a ritual or sacrifice in order for some people, few individuals to step on their powers or their seats or their ranks. So that is why me, I keep on saying that we don't need uh, elections. This is the time we take on a new leaf. There are other things we can come of come with uh, as a mode of uh, selecting uh, readers, which we mostly must don't know that they don't select our readers. The readers, readers that are uh, uh, selected are chosen by the Western countries, the, the Chinese uh, who are here now, currently colonizing uh, Africa based on the interest they have uh, on the, our rad and whatever they are doing and the money they have uh, poured in form of loans, so they don't, uh, they can never work with anybody from out there uh, who is not in alignment with their evil agenda and their wicked agenda. So over to you, Margaret Kenyatta, no more doing of our rituals, such rituals wearing our costumes and also shaving our brothers and sisters uh, rocks in front of the whole nation, in front of the, every community. It's all wrong. And over to you, Mudoni Kirima. I hope you have learned your lesson. What you did was not good. Better you could have stuck on your own lane, even before, uh, even after surrendering yourself. You you are not supposed to uh, go, or it was all long to go and mix with uh, somebody who uh, who betrayed us, the Kenyatta family. Your time is over now. It's a long time you have been uh, in power. Now it's the time that uh, you give that that to somebody else leadership to somebody else because the way you are, have taken this uh, country and our people it's so 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 much so me yeah, I don't have anything to add <laughs> and all I can say that if that all people are going to accept uh, election and this message goes to my people, the Gekuyo and uh, Mombi, Mombi and Gekuyo community. You are the one uh, who have uh, your cars on the road. You are close to CBD, that is Nairobi, the uh, center where everybody is here. 
everybody is staying within the surrounding of Nairobi and even here we are as Nairobi was, ex was exceeded uh, or it was transformed to be a metropolitan you have your rental houses that you have accommodated each and every community here so it's better to be wise either you choose the box or the money you choose whether you are you want to see everything going or burning up with uh, f uh, in frames because that is what is going to happen it will be a very chaotic uh, election so let us uh, stay safe say no to uh, elections look for other options we can they can the readers our readers it's now the time to separate uh, everybody the people and also the politicians the police department the military now it's the time they work independently independently on their own so I don't have anything to say or to add. Good night to you.